Okay, so we are testing some snakes for IBD. We uh, had a little problem with um, Alex got a snake and he uh, he tested his a snake that he got from me and it came positive. Yes. It came positive for IBD. And so now we're testing everything to try and figure out if it was just from that snake because the snake I didn't originally produce. I brought it into my collection. So now we're checking all the adult boas to test them and see if they have that as well. It's really a pain in the butt to test animals in Canada for this because we have no testing. <laughs> so we're, we're taking swabs and we're sending them over to the States and get some results and see how the collection is if the, if the snakes are sick and if they have IBD I'm planning to um, basically give them away to people that don't have snakes if they want to care for one or put them down like it's kind of like it's one or the other because if they if they have it it's not really something that ever really gets cured but it is something that they can live with for a while and and to me i think that if if the animal is in a ton of pain and getting worse and worse at that point you should put the snake down but if the animal is you know living fine eating fine and not having other complications then then it's worth you know keeping alive and sometimes snakes can carry this and not show symptoms so in that case they it might not really be affecting them that negatively it's just that they're carrying it but either way we want we want to figure it out and now because of this also we we have to restrain the snake and test it so i'm going to show you how you can do that naomi i think we're doing luna luna yep. okay so whenever I kind of grab a snake and have to like hold it by its head, I try to never just kind of go for the head, go underneath, get to where the neck is and get right there, base, hold it securely, but not like, you know, we we'll hold it secure, but never, never want to be hurting it. So get underneath it and then get that head upside down. It's always easier when the head is like sideways or upside down. Hold it nice and securely. Obviously it's not something the snake enjoys, but we're not hurting it. Good. Who's next? Uh, Naomi. Naomi. Also, never, I've never actually been bit after restraining a snake. So who knows, it might happen today. <laughs> oh, okay. This is Annie's descendant. Yeah. Once again, get underneath, be nice and secure, and hold it as gently as you can. Woo! It's hiding her face. Okay, here we go. Yeah, she doesn't seem very liquidy, huh? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Just basically rub as like much as you can. It should be fine. It you was know, funny. Sophie's probably one of my favorites, even though she's just a good old plain albino. She's just awesome. Okay. Uh, funny. 
It's almost like you got blood or something, but there's no blood. <laughs> See how sweet. So nice and gently underneath and secure. a good boy. Okay. That's good. Fade does not enjoy being handled, so this will be interesting. There we go. There you go. Uh, she's like, leave me alone. She's leper? Yeah. So I guess I guess she should actually be Sonoran. I don't know if that makes a difference. She's not really BCI. My sterling boy. He's doing good and he's opening his mouth. And <clears throat> nice, that looks good. Okay, and then we can finish off with Alpha. <laughs> Hello. I'm just gonna need a little bit of a little bit of hanging out time, I think, to do this. Just to help calm him down first. This is fun. 
I've never, I've never restrained a green tree before. This looks about right to what they do. They just try to like <laughs> move far, far away. Yeah. I don't have them as secure, but hopefully. That's fine. Very good. Nice, that should be a good sample. That's it. Let me take some close-up pictures of him while yeah. we have him out. Yeah, sure. He's in the shed, though. Send him to your buddy. Yeah. Go from the other side, because the light's coming that way. So just go close to the window. Oh, actually, I'll just take him out. We'll go next to the window and you can take some nice shots. Sure. He doesn't strike just for the sake of it. If you're trying to get him and he's not in the mood, then he'll strike. He's not nasty, he's just nervous. 